This is how to play Drain the Blood by the Distillers and it's in standard tuning. Starts off with an A minor, then an E, then a C, then an E, back to A minor. I'm doing it in this pattern. Um, I can't really explain, but it seems to start with a um, an upstroke rather than a downstroke. So so I start with a downstroke on the A minor, and then each each other chord has uh, it gets played three times, but it starts with an upstroke. So. power chord at the third fret of the E and then fourth. Then the chorus is just power chords, so third fret of the A string power chord there. Then 3rd fret of the E string, just for 1, and then up to the 5th fret of the E string. And sometimes hear a little bend here and there, so that would be 5th fret of the B string, and 7th uh, fret of the G string, and sort of turn the uh, bend the the G string up a bit. And at that point it goes power chord uh, and the low E string at the 4th fret and then 3rd and then back up to 4th and then a uh, power chord at the 3rd fret of the A to the 2nd fret so I'll do the whole thing again riff. Then there's um, a bit of a break and it starts with an A minor later on in the song. It goes E, then F, then G, then G sharp. So you play those as power chords or you could play bar chords. So it's E minor again. E. F. G. G sharp. Um, also, um, when you're playing the F and the G and the G sharp, sometimes it goes. It's probably two guitars in there. Um.
then the riff as it's um, finishing off is the same as the normal one at the chorus. Third fret on the E string power chord. Then third fret on low E. Then fifth fret on low E. Then she adds in, or well, whoever plays that part, uh, a power chord at the at the first fret and F. song goes like this. Fourth to third on the low E and then back to fourth. Then third then second on the A string power chord. And then finish on the A minor and let it ring out. And that's all there is to the song. Cheers.